Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Nurture with Art and Nature. Today I will show you how to make these adorable fall mushrooms out of recycled materials. So let's get into it. For this project you will need cardboard melon holders, sort of like an egg carton but for melons. I found mine at Aldi's. You'll need scissors and a paper towel tube, paint and a paintbrush, white glue and a glue brush. You'll need a couple of these cupcake wraps, some painter's tape, tissues and some water. Now begin by cutting out the melon holder. This will be the head or the cap of the mushroom, so you can trim it to whatever size you like. Now for young children, you can make a super quick and easy mushroom by just painting the tube and the cap, then gluing the cupcake wrap on top of the tube, and then gluing the cap on top of that. These are the ones my kids made. Now you're going to cover the entire cap with masking tape, folding down over the edges and pressing the tape down firmly. And this is how it should look. Now cut your tube straight down across the length. You're going to roll it inwards, where the top end is narrower than the bottom end. Once you're happy with it, tape it in place and then tape the whole tube down lengthwise. Make sure to tuck over the edges, then grab some more tape and close both ends of the tube. Grab your glue and what I did was I placed a tissue on top of the cap and then tried to glue it down. But this actually wasn't working too well, so I realized that I should have put the glue first, then placed the tissue on top of that. Then on the underside, glue the tissue over the edges. Now you're going to do the same thing with the stem. And make sure they dry completely before painting. Once dry, grab your cupcake wraps and cut the bottom part off. This will be the gills of the mushroom. I cut another, then trimmed it so that the gills fit the underside of my cap. Then glue it down, pushing it firmly in place. Then place a circular piece of tissue on it. Trim off any excess and let it dry. Now for the stem, I cut the bottom of the wrap off and then glued it on, but this wasn't a great idea, as it was a bit hard to paint after. So my advice would be to stick it after you paint it. And this is how they look once dry. Now for the paints. On my palette I place some white, some yellow ochre, some brown and some lemon yellow. I mix the ochre with the white and a tiny bit of the yellow and paint the first layer of the top of the cap. I then dab on some brown in the center. I wanted the darkest part to be the center, with the brown gradually lightening towards the edges. Now for the stem. I did a base coat of the brown with a bit of white. Now you can see how gluing the skirt on prior to painting wasn't a good idea. For the second coat, I added more white, but didn't like the way it was looking, so I mixed the white with some ochre. Once dried, I put some glue on the top of the stem and placed my cap on the table and glued it on, making sure to apply pressure until it was stable enough to hold. And here it is. I also decided to paint the gills using the same colors as the rest of the mushroom. I love the texture that the tissues make on the stem and the cap. And here's a little toadstool I made using a toilet paper roll. By sticking a layer of folded tissue around the base, I made the stem thicker. And for the raised spots, I tore some pieces of tissue, mixed with glue, and formed them into balls. I really hoped you liked this video, and as always, thanks for watching.